Hello, cookbook friends. This is Carrie from Cookbook Divas. And tonight I thought it would be fun to look through bakeless sweets. Things for people who don't like to bake. I do like to bake, but I thought this would be good for some of you. It's by Faith Durand, and it goes through pudding, panna cotta, fluff, icebox cakes, and more no-bake desserts. And it looks like it's going to promise to be pretty colorful. It came out way back in 2013. I borrowed it from my library because I wasn't sure if it's a keeper or not because I do like baking. So let's get into it. The chapters start off with stirred puddings and custards, rice tapioca and whole grain puddings, panna cotta and other gelled puddings, mousse and blender puddings, real fruit jellies, whipped cream desserts and fluffs, and ice box cakes, pies, trifles, and cookies. Woo! Okay, starting off, introduction, why no bake, la 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 because I'm lazy. Oh, lots of recipes for a big crowd, lots of indexes of things to look up, but we're just going to flip through and I can't show you the whole book. So I'm going to try and find some of the, wow, there's a lot of info about puddings going on and on and on about puddings, which I guess if I was going to try and make one, I need that homemade instant pudding mix. Nice. Okay. Wow. Not a lot of photos, lots and lots and lots and lots of reading. Whew and tips and the difference between cocoa dutch processed versus regular versus dark cocoa and now there's a recipe for a rich chocolate custard and a classic creme anglaise i don't see any pictures but i guess pudding you don't need to see a picture you know butterscotch pudding yeah it's hard to photograph gloop in a bowl but i'm sure it tastes delicious notice there's lots and lots and lots of steps and instructions okay Whew. Ah, toasted coconut brittle. Not a lot of pictures, but we're still in the sauce category. Let's get to the other stuff and it'll probably be better. No bake creme brulee. Yes. Nice. <gasps> banana pudding supreme with caramelized bananas. Okay, so you're basically cooking, not baking. Yeah. I'm going to skip ahead. Ooh, scarlet rose and berry pudding with whipped cream. Now you're talking. This is getting better. Roasted pistachio pudding. A chocolate butterscotch budino. I love budino. Here's a chai white chocolate bedino. Ooh, that's clever. I like that pairing. Now we're in rice tapioca and whole grain puddings. And lots and lots and lots of reading to, mm -mm, nope, can't do it. Okay, lots and lots of recipes with lots of steps. Finally, a photo of gingered brown rice pudding. That sounds healthy. And a plum conserve and an old fashioned tapioca pudding. I feel like tapioca is very polarizing. You either love it or you hate it. Not a lot of middle ground. Would you agree? Okay. Oh, I'm trying to find some pictures. Grapefruit and vanilla bean panna cotta. We're still in the panna cottas. Goat cheese panna cotta. That sounds good. Pretty picture. Okay. Yogurt pudding squares with raspberry anise jelly. I would skip anything that tastes like licorice, but you might like that. Okay, strawberries, cinnamon yogurt mousse, cardamom yogurt mousse, and a coconut ricotta mousse. I love mousses, don't like coconut. Now, real fruit jellies. This could be very useful for me as a vegetarian that loves jelly but can't eat it because it has gelatin in it. If I could make my own, then I could eat it all the time. Jellied orange slices, I would love to make those. And the ingredient is gelatin. Okay, so I would have to get my vegetarian fake gelatin made from apple pectin. But papaya filled with coconut cream and mango. That is inventive. I love that. Very clever. That is brilliant. I love that. And beach glass jelly squares. That would be so fun to make for me with my vegetarian gelatin. Okay, I don't want to show you all those highlights. Oh, a sweet wine syllabub. Do I remember that someone in Little Women ate a syllabub? I think maybe Beth because she wasn't feeling well. Chapter seven, icebox cakes, pies, trifles, and cookies. This will be fun. Lemon cream, icebox cake, yum. No baking. Cheesecake, cheesecake, banana pudding parfait. Oh, I forgot about parfaits, yes. A blueberry angel food trifle looks incredibly delicious and creamy. And no bake Meyer lemon bars with ginger snap crust, fun, okay. Way too much verbiage and not enough photos, but that was very interesting. And I, I'm probably going to try making a couple things out of it. Maybe one of the budinos and some of the jelly squares using artificial gelatin. 
We'll see how that goes. That was Bakeless Sweets by Faith Durand. I do recommend it, but I'd like to see some more pictures and a lot less verbiage. But hey, to each her own. If you'd like to see more of our cookbook reviews, previews, and peek-throughs, you can follow Cookbook Divas. We're on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and Pinterest. Bye! Thanks for watching.